Hello there. So why is your program returning a Java error variable might not have been initialized? If you are watching this video, chances are that you are writing a Java program, but you cannot even compile your code because you are receiving an error that says variable might not have been initialized. So what does this mean? In this video, I will explain you what this error means and we will see code snippets with this problem and how you can fix it. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's start by explaining what the variable might not have been initialized message means. This error is a compilation error. A compilation error means that the code doesn't comply with the syntax rules of the Java language. For instance, one of the syntax rules in Java dictates that there should be a semicolon at the end of every statement. Missing the semicolon will cause a compilation error. The message variable might not have been initialized is a compilation error as well uh, that is indicating that you haven't initialized a variable. That means that you have not given an initial value to the variable before you start using it. To use a variable, first you need to declare it and then initialize it. In the variable declaration, you will indicate the variable type and the name of the variable. In this example, I'm saying that I want to declare a variable with type integer and the variable name is going to be age. And now we need to assign an initial value to the variable. So in this case, the initial value is going to be 10. You can do this in two different statements or you can do the declaration and initializing the variable in the same line. You can encounter this error in different cases, so we are going to see a few different examples. Perfect, so at this point we understand better what the error variable might not have been initialized message means. So let's see a few examples and how you can fix them. Here is the first example. This code is just defining a class main and inside we have a method that counts the number of zeros in an array of integers. If we look at line 11, there is an error saying variable might not have been initialized. This error can be slightly confusing because it's suggesting that the problem is in line 11. However, the issue is higher up in the code at the point where the variable is declared in line 7. The variable was declared but is not initialized, so all we need to do is assign a value to the variable. Since we are counting, I'm going to give it an initial value of 0. And now the compilation error is gone. Let's see another example. In this second piece of code, I have created a variable scanner which will read some values from the console. First, I will pick up the number of times the loop will repeat and then I will read another number which I'm going to use to increment the second loop. And if I look at line 17, there we have our error variable might not have been initialized. At the line 17, we increment the variable k, but since we don't have an initial value, the program will not know how to perform the operation. And this makes sense since you cannot add 1 to an unknown number. So to fix this issue, all we need to do is assign an initial value to the variable k, which in this case is going to be 0 as well. It could be any integer that you like depending on the goal of your program. And after initializing the variable, the problem is solved. Let's see another example. In this code snippet, we have a class main and inside there is a main method. 
Inside the method, I have two variables. If one is equal to 10, then I will assign 20 to the other variable and print it. Very simple piece of code. And if we look at line 10, there it is our compilation error variable might not have been initialized. And probably you are thinking, isn't it initialized in line 20? It is, but only partially. And what I mean by that is, if the variable i is equal to 10, then the variable j will be initialized. But if the variable i is different from 10, then the code will reach line 10 and wouldn't be able to print anything because it did not give a value to the variable j in that case. We should initialize the variable somewhere in the code where it applies to all possible execution paths. That means doing the initialization at the beginning. So regardless of the other variables, the variable j will have a value. So to fix it, let's give an initial value of 5. And that's it. The issue is solved now. All right, so we reach the end of this video where we saw what the error variable might not have been initialized mean and how you can fix it with different examples. I really hope you enjoyed this video and find it useful and I will see you in the next one.